Hello guys, it's me, Patrick. Today I'm gonna show you something that I just found out, literally. I'm gonna show how to use the multiple output, multiple channels, multiple tracks, uh, multiple instruments assigned to a single instance of a virtual instrument. Um, why do we need this? Okay, uh, how I used to work was to have a, a track in FL Studio it, with an instance of a, the virtual instrument and then the second track uh, even if it's using the same virtual instrument I would uh, invoke another instance of the virtual instrument so um, let me show you uh, how I used to work so I'll just replace this with uh, one of the instruments here so inside my Philharmonic virtual instrument I actually have multiple channels multiple channels that I can be uh, assign a different instrument in each with its own uh, pan with its own volume so it's like a mini mixer and I can actually have 16 instruments assigned but um, not knowing how to use this okay uh, I what I used to do was to um, just assign one instrument okay I could assign more instruments but it wouldn't make a difference but because I would always be triggering the first one okay so uh, it's always the first one how how I would use the same virtual instrument for a different uh, patch assigned I would load it up again another instance of the same instrument and this time around I would use uh, something that's really different okay staccato brass so that was how I used to set it up okay but um, yeah after reading up a little bit uh, documentation and, and stuff um, okay I finally figured out how to use uh, a single instrument for multiple channels so what I'm gonna do is just replace this with a layer okay, so that we just have one instrument uh, one instance of this virtual instrument okay why do, would people want to use a single instance of of a virtual instrument uh, because um, there are some global effects and global values that we can set here okay uh, that would if you wanted to update or automate the the, the parameters you would have to do the same thing to the same effect that is applied individually to the other virtual instruments and then uh, you also notice that we have some pan uh, values in here of course in FL Studio we also have some channel panning here but um, since some of the effects uh, like global sand uh, sand effects are applied in here uh, which affect uh, the acoustic quality like um, if this is a stereo uh, sampled instrument and I actually pan it I actually pan it to one side uh, it would affect uh, the quality of the reverb in here okay um, however if I were to leave this at the, s at the center and I and I apply the reverb inside and then after that I would pan it outside here um, this would send the main instrument plus the reverb and then pan everything after the fact that uh, after the after the reverb happens so uh, there is um, in certain cases uh, some difference in sound okay and uh, yeah like like we said uh, we sometimes we need a global effect to be um, to be applied to all the instruments in here so it would sound like it is in the same space rather than uh, have each instance and then applying a global reverb in each of them it may not sound the same in certain cases so finally we will get down to uh, how to do this I, I have this okay um, which is playing the first one now I can go to my second channel and set my um, say I'll set some bells this time okay so we, we can't we can't audition it because we can't access the second channel okay so um, what I'm gonna do is um, 
okay of course I can use my first track as my to access my first channel okay but we're not gonna do that I can use this our friend here is MIDI out so we need this MIDI out okay um, how do we link this to so that MIDI out this uh, MIDI out knows to control this instance of the virtual instrument I'm gonna just hit this what would happen is uh, I'll need to go to hit this button okay this is the settings of the fruity wrapper that calls the virtual instrument under input port okay I would set this as any number okay uh, but later on we'll just need to remember this uh, input port 0 which we have set in uh, I'll hit MIDI out now in MIDI out I also see a port so here I've set to port 0 and um, this MIDI out also set to port 0 and channel 1 so if I now play here okay I would notice that um, the the first channel the sound from the first channel is sounding from our virtual instrument okay what if I change my channel to 2 okay we have a bell sound now which corresponds with the second channel in my virtual instrument so um, what I can do would be uh, to clone this uh, I can I can name it as like uh, orchestral ensemble on the channel one okay then this I could name it as um, my bell tree 2 okay bell tree 0 2 channel 2 so so on and so forth okay uh, it's still sounding because I've been set it to channel 1 so channel 2 for the bell tree and channel 1 for okay so this orchestral ensemble and my bell tree so in in this way I can uh, have like 16 layers controlling 16 channels here but actually just having one out one uh, instance of the virtual instrument uh, which outputs the audio signal to the master bus okay um, so in here if I okay I'm, I'm, I'm tweaking the volume right now okay if I'm if I look at this uh, my virtual instrument something's updating okay it's been synced up to the volume of this and I if I pan here okay it's also updating this so this is really really handy okay um, if I wanted to process the output of this guy okay together 16 channels because this is this guy's gonna give me all the audio here right so if I wanted to process the audio from this uh, together as a whole then I would be happy right because 16 media inputs and then just uh, bounce to two tracks of audio signal what happens if I don't want uh, if I want 16 separate instruments coming out okay of this virtual instrument uh, do I need to uh, then change my workflow to load uh, a instance of the same virtual instrument for 16 tracks uh, fortunately um, FL studio is flexible enough for us to configure that too so now we need to go to processing and I can see that I can have outputs so I can I can have discrete channels for each one of 16 outputs altogether so that is the power of the fruity wrapper and the MIDI out let me just add one more without renaming it so that you guys know that it's MIDI out I'm quite happy that I found this um, for myself now I can have quite a flexible uh, workflow and setup I hope you guys enjoy this uh, I'll see you guys next time